Here's just a little extra tutorial on getting the hip hinge perfect. Okay, a common mistake is to arch the lower back too much, and that can cause some tension and irritation into the lower back. So where we were practicing the arch and flatten before when we were lying down, we want to recall that movement. And if this is the arch where the belly goes out and the breathing in, the flatten comes back slightly. So there's a little bit of tension to the abs, but you're not flattening the back fully, you're just taking out a little bit of that lumbar curve. So from here, you're gonna hold that position, put some tension into the front, into your abs, and you're gonna slide your butt backwards to touch the wall. Now Lucy has bent her knees, which is the correct thing to do. You don't wanna do it with a straight knees, you wanna just get a little bit of flexion into the knees as the butt goes backwards. Okay, so this, this looks perfect. Now I'm gonna get her to show you what it, should, what it looks like if it doesn't look perfect. So she's sticking out her belly, she's got a hyper arch here. Uh, keep your knees straight on this one. Her knees go straight and then her butt comes back. And this just can just create too much tension into her lower back. So let's go back to how it should look. Tucking the pelvis a little bit, uh, putting a little less lordosis or a little less arch into the lower back. The knees come down, so the knees bend slightly and the butt goes backwards, this is perfect. The weight should be into the heels as well. So she's about six to eight inches from the wall. If she goes forward just a little bit more, just come, just come forward with your feet. So now she's about 12 inches from the wall or 30 centimeters. From here, she's gonna slide her butt backwards. Now in order for her to touch the wall, she's gonna to have to shift her weight onto her heels and her toes might come up. That's perfect. That's roughly where we should be. You should feel the weight going into the heels. You don't want the toes lifting off completely, but you definitely want to feel that weight transference. So play around with the distance from the wall as well. One last point would be, if you're, if you're struggling with this, is to get a dowel or a broom handle or something that's straight that can go from the, top, the back of the head here, middle of the shoulders and the sacrum. So if you imagine there's a bar down here, now just go again with that movement, that the butt, mid back and head would not have come away from the bar. It would be a complete straight line as her hips go backwards. So it's a hip hinge, getting flexion or bending forward without using the spine.